This video is sponsored by Wing Wing Technology, your ultimate flight sim hardware solution, featuring the Orion HOTAS current and future configurations. Hello valued viewers, I hope you're all doing very well. It's the end of 2021 and we now have the first air to ground functionality in the F-16C with the JHMCS, the helmet mounted display. It's very exciting, it's very useful. First of all, what functionality do we have? Well, we can see steer points with the HMD. We can also see speeds, sensor points of interest. We can also set mark points. We can set speeds and therefore we can set T-Pod pointing. We can currently employ any of the unguided weapons, including cluster munitions. We can employ laser guided bombs through the T-Pod, JDAMs, JSAL, and we can employ Mavericks. As usual, we're going to try and vary this video from the official Matt Wagner video by showing things he didn't show, like use of the T-Pod. Next, let's look at our case studies. Three things we'll be doing today. First, employment of laser guided bomb. To do that, we'll use the helmet mounted display to create a mark point. From that mark point, we'll create a steer point. From that steer point, we'll create a speed. From that speed, we'll create a T-Pod pointing. From that T-Pod pointing, we will create a laser guided bomb employment. Next, we're going to fire a JSAL. Next, we're going to use the Maverick. So, first case study, laser guided bomb. First thing we want to do is to set a mark point. So, turn our helmet mounted display on. Next, at the time of making this video, we cannot create a mark point through nav mode. We must be in air to ground mode. So, air to ground mode. Next, the weapon that we've selected, if it can have a vis mode like this JSAL can have a vis mode, you must be in vis mode. Otherwise, you will not be able to create the mark point. Again, this is how it works at the time of making this video. It may change. Or, if you have a weapon selected that does not have a vis mode, like this GBU-12, then it doesn't matter. You don't need to have a vis mode. It will work. Those are the prerequisites for getting the mark points working. Controls. To control where our soy is, our sensor of interest, we'll use DMS up to make the HUD soy or DMS down to make one of the screens soy. To create a speed, TMS up short. To make the helmet mounted display soy, it's sensor of interest, it's TMS up again, but it's a push and hold. Push and hold for at least half a second and release. To undesignate a target, TMS down and to slew our SPI around, which we're going to do a lot today, and to slew our teapot around, radar cursor up, down, left to right, or the equivalent axis. First, ICP, seven for mark point. Next, we're going to move our head away from the HUD, so we've got the HMD symbology. TMS, forward, long. We can see that we've got the mark point circle symbology there. Now we're going to find a target. I have to do this in active pause. I'm just not good enough to do it on the fly. We're going to get the rough area of the bad guys. If you can see there, there are one, two, three bombers. We're going to do a case study on each bomber. Let's go for the left bomber. With the helmet mounted display, it's just not accurate enough to get it perfect. So I'm going to get in the rough area and press TMS forward. There. What that's done is this ground stabilised the mark point symbology to the ground. So even if I wasn't in active pause now, it would stick to the ground there. What I can do now is use my radar cursor keys to get a more accurate designation. So I get in the rough area with the HMD, then I use the slew keys to get perfectly on the target. Right there. Then TMS forward again to create the mark point. Ping, mark point created double check you can see we've populated the mark point 26 one step i missed out was that before we made the helmet mounted display soy we need to make sure that we have the hud soy you know the hud soy because we've got the little asterisk here if that asterisk is not there then it's dms forward to create that star there and create the hud of soy next i want to show this mark point has automatically created a steer point so what i'm going to do is i'm going to double return and i'm going to increment up to waypoint 26 sorry steer point 26 same thing and you can see now we've got a diamond that means that by default with steer point 26 selected that is also a speed a center point of interest to prove that we're going to point our teapot at that speed so let's go and get teapot up and working and what I would have expected is it to point at that speed but it hasn't so why hasn't it well it's because I've accidentally left 
the GVU in CCIP mode. What that does is that ensures that the teapot is going to look ahead of us. I need to be in CCRP mode. It's just something to remember. CCRP mode. Now the teapot will look automatically at the speed at that bomber there. We're still not accurate enough to drop a bomb. I want to get even more accurate. So we need to make the teapot soy with DMS down. Let's zoom in a little. I'm going to go narrow field of view. There we go. I'm going to use the RDR cursor keys to get absolutely perfect. There, that's a lot better. And just to make absolutely sure, I'm going to go to a point track in this case. So TMS forward. And now we've got a point track. At this point, we can unpause and go and drop our bomb. So let's get our laser on. Check. Down towards the target. Timing cue dropping. Press and hold. Weapon release. Bomb away. And I'm going to fire the laser, trigger first detent, laser firing, bomb should track. And what are we going for? The left guy, I think. That should be a Kabumi. It is. Next, we're going to fire a JSAL, and we're going to do a relatively streamlined process. We're going to turn straight back into target, because we have a lovely HMD. Pause there. I would like a JSAL, please. I'm going to turn my power on. Note, it will not work in pre-mode. We must go to visual mode visual mode with the helmet mounted display outside of the HUD and the HUD as soy TMS forward long we've now got our designated you can see our box on our cross aim at the target I would like to take this middle one here I'm gonna press TMS forward that's as close as I can get next I'm gonna use my RDR cursor to get as aligned as I can there now that is actually all I need to do. What I, I can't fire from this aspect, obviously, but I could just turn around, come back in and fire. But I do want to use my T-Bot again in this case, just to make sure we're perfectly on that bomber. So I'm going to unpause, power on. There he is. And we're going to double check with our T-Bot, make it soy with DMS aft. Uh, zoom in, shall we? Uh, that's probably good enough, but let's just make absolutely sure. Move it a tiny bit. We can create a point track as well we don't have to we're within range and fire watch la magic i think this is a cluster variant isn't it so oh down they go have i no oh no we got him we got him have another one down next we're going to show the last thing which is the most slick streamlined version we're going to use for the maverick so maverick it's on and we're in visual mode which we have to have Next, we need to make our hard soy because we've got soy down on our teapot at the moment. So, DMS forward soy. At this point, it's critical. If you've just used a previous weapon and we've got a speed set somewhere, like we would have had on that bomber, that you can undesignate that speed with TMS aft or back. In this case, all we need to do now with the Maverick selected is have the helmet facing out here. TMS forward long. And we can see that we get the speed box and look at this guy here that lagging guy there is where the actual maverick we've got selected is looking note how that it can only go to the off bore angle of 40 degrees or whatever it is of that particular weapon so it can only follow us so far probably guess what we're going to do now we're going to aim for the target with the helmet we're going to get as close as we can team us forward note that the dlz is also in the helmet which is pretty cool our symbology is there next we don't want our teapot anymore, so we're going to get off it. We're going to go to our weapon. That is our Maverick. Hmm, not very pretty. Why don't we zoom in? We need to make this soy if we're going to operate the Maverick further. So, DMS back made it soy. And I'm not convinced that's actually a correctly locked target. So, I'm going to make sure with a TMS forward. I think now it is definitely locked and ready to go. So, I'm going to unpause, fire the weapon. Boom! Third case study complete. Note, this is early access. Things will change on this over the coming months and we'll try and keep you abreast. Hope that was useful and see you later.